What's going on everybody? It's CCNM17 and I'm down at the Erie Canal again and I'm gonna go fishing. At the moment it is around 2.30 in the afternoon and I came down to try my luck. I only have two night crawlers left over from yesterday. Um, night crawlers for 12, $3.50. I didn't want to run all the way up into town to grab uh, some more night crawlers. So I'm gonna use the last two I have, maybe rip them in half and see if I can catch anything. So right here we're down at the same spot I was when I made the first video, but you can actually see this time. You can take a look at that water. So right here by this rock is where I usually go. And I fish right down in there by the rocks. And you catch a lot of good fish there. Um, better in the daytime than at nighttime, depending on what you're using. I'm using night crawlers, as I said, so it should be pretty good. Um, here with me, I got my bucket in case I catch a fish. Um, I usually let it sit in there for a bit and um, do whatever, debate whether I want to take it home or not. Depending on how big it is, um, in New York, uh, if you catch a bluegill, it doesn't matter what size it is, you can keep it. And it doesn't matter how many, there's no limitations, you can keep as many as you catch. So, right here I have the spinner reel. Um, it is an AccuBalance rod. I have not heard of this brand before. I just picked it up at a um, yard sale for like five bucks. It seems like a decent rod, I have to set it up. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get set up and we're gonna try our luck. So, uh, make sure you subscribe and like the video if you're into this type of stuff. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna go ahead and set this line up, the pole up with is I have this, um, I don't know what they're called, but you can hang a bunch of hooks that are already um, set up. These are metal and these are um, regular fishing line. Um, it's very handy if you uh, have a lot of hooks and need to um, hold them. Uh, I'm going to use one of these, um, one of the ones with the line. I don't like the metal ones because they don't really have that flexibility. Usually when I fish, I like to um, mimic like a struggling, like if I'm using a worm, I want to make it look like it's struggling and for that you want a lot of flexibility in the line with these metal the metal ones they really just kind of uh just suspend and they don't really move around that much so i don't like those i like the um pre uh the pre-stringed ones i don't know what you would call those um again i don't really know the terminologies for fishing i just fish <laughs> right here is the night crawler container i have two night crawlers in there i don't know if you can see them um and they're pretty big let me get a good image of that they're pretty thick worms and I'm gonna cut those in half and use those so I can fish a little bit longer most of the time actually I catch um, fish and they don't swallow the worm either I could use those or I could just use one of these octopus hooks and um, I don't know I kind of like the ones that are already pre tied so we're gonna go ahead and do that so I'm gonna go ahead and get set up here I'm gonna pause the video and um, I'll get back to you when it's done. All right, so I got it set up and you can see the worm on the end here. Um, as I said, I ripped it in half. So I may not get much movement from it, but the fish really don't care about movement. As long as I move the line, they will uh, attack. Now this pole, uh, it is about six foot. Let me go ahead and try to get you a, I'll have to hold it up in order to do that, but. It's about a six foot rod. I'm 6'3", so it comes down to about my chin. Um, all right, so we're gonna go, go over here to my rock where I usually fish. And we're gonna see if we can catch anything. I'm using my phone to record, so if the video is terrible, I apologize. It's pretty difficult to do one-handed. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna flip that over. And I'm not using any weight, because again, I like to be, this is about as traditional as you're gonna get. And my line don't, does not wanna go out for some reason. Oh, I'm tangled. <laughs> All right, give me one moment, guys. 
Sorry about that. Let me get it all untangled here. There we go. We're just gonna let it drop out there. Now, the key to fishing in this area is to fish right next to the rocks. That's where you're gonna catch your fish. I hear a thunderstorm off in the distance and I have work at five. It is about 2.30 in the afternoon here. So I have about an hour of fishing. Basically just wait till I feel a bite and for some reason it doesn't seem like it's sinking. I'm just gonna move the rod around a little bit. I probably should have put weight on here, to be honest. I got some boaters off in the distance. Alright, let's just bring it out. So we have this bush here, I'm not sure what kind of bush it is, but it attracts a lot of bass. So it's one thing I've come to find, good spot if you find these along the canal. It's a good spot to um, cast. Yeah, it's some kayakers off in the distance. It's a very nice area to fish, very beautiful. So, um, actually, I'm gonna go put some weight on my line real quick so I can get it to go down farther. And um, I will be right back with you when I get that set up. All right, so if you can see, I got some weight on there. Um, the brand is Gremlin Green Split Shot. Um, it's a split shot weight and the other ones I have in there are very small, they don't do much. You have to put like two or three on the line. Um, this basically is just going to take the place of a sinker for me. It's going to add some extra weight. This is not for casting, however, I would like my line to go farther down in the water, which is what this, let me rephrase that, this will allow me to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cast it out there again, sorry. Again, I'm trying to fill in one hand and cast in the other. So you're going to get really crappy images here. All right. I'm just going to let it drop right out here. And flip that over. Reel it in a little bit. All right. So as you can see, I just kind of like jerked the rod back and forth a little bit. And I'm going to see if I get any bites. I haven't gotten any bites so far. I usually get bites, so that's kind of oh I'm getting a bite guys there we go just as I said that let's go ahead and cast it right under this bush I got slack in the line but I can't really reel it <laughs> all right um, the other night I caught a two smallmouth bass and I can show you the uh, footage of that um, I went fishing with my two brothers and my girlfriend at night, and we caught, well, they didn't catch anything, but I caught two smallmouth. One was really tiny, and one was a pretty good size, but not nothing too big. All right, I'm getting bites, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the footage for now, and if I catch something, I'll... Um, I'll resume the footage again. All right, so after about five minutes of fishing, this happened. Yeah. So now I understand why this was a $5 rod at a yard sale and never heard of the brand before. The reel kept getting jammed. Every time I would try to reel it in, it would just get stuck. 
so I couldn't uh, reel it in anymore. And I got stuck on a rock over there. Let me go sh show you. So I got stuck on a rock right down in there. And I went to yank it up because, you know, usually when you get a rock, when you get hooked on a rock, you want to kind of wiggle your rod back and forth trying to get it to uh, come undone. I want to do that. Literally, I didn't even apply that much pressure. And the rod just snapped in half in three different spots. That's how crappy of a rod this is. So if any of you have this rod or looking to buy this kind of rod, I would advise to stay away from it. So I lost my worm, a nice hook, and a fishing rod. So that's going to be fun trying to explain that to my parents. <laughs> so um, I'm going to try a new technique and I'm just going to use um, a hand line. I'm going to get some line off of here, use my hand, use this last worm right here that's in there somewhere. Yep, there he is. I'm going to use him. Actually, there's, I had three worms the whole time. So I'm going to try to catch something even I don't even though I do not have the rod. We're going to see how this goes. All right, guys. So we're about half an hour in. Um, I have had little success with the hand line that I have rigged together. This is actually the line off the rod that broke. Um, I actually, actually like pulled it up when I was using the hand line when it got stuck in a rock. So I got this back. Um, over there, there was two minks that were just chasing each other and disturbing the fish. So. Um, I'm going to fish for a little bit more. I've been getting bites left and right on this hand line, but without the rod, it's just hard for me to get it to where they get hooked on. So I'm going to use my last worm here, well, half a worm, and I'm going to try my luck again. If not, I'm going to call it a day, and basically I will um, show you the fish that I caught the other night and that'll be all so I'm gonna go ahead and rig this up one last time and give it a go all right guys so on the hand line right here I have caught a little rock bass just as it was starting to rain now I have come to a hypothesis about um, why I wasn't catching any fish earlier and that is I caught a goby and before I could get the footage, it came off. Now for those of you who do not know what a goby is, that is a fish that is a, an invasive species in New York, in the canal, and they eat everything. And basically the other fish are dying off. Oh, come on. So I was not able to show him for you guys. And if you catch them, you're supposed to kill them. So this is a little tiny rock mast. I think it's either a rock or a smallmouth. I can't tell. Um, but I didn't even realize he was on there, to be honest, because they don't put up a fight. They just kind of, um, it feels like you get caught on a rock, next thing you know, start pulling. So that's what that is. Um, and yeah, it's starting to rain, so I'm going to start heading home. And it was actually a good catch for the end of the day. And just goes to show that any method of fishing really works, whether you're using a rod and reel or not I better go put him back before he dies but I can't believe I caught a goby and I wasn't able to film him for you guys so we're gonna go ahead and let him back in the water just let him drop in there there he goes all right so at least I caught something man I can't believe that my reel broke my rod broke and I caught a goby and that little rock or smallmouth bass I can't oh wait that's not the line all right, but it is beginning to rain. As you can see, the droplets are falling. Um, that was the last of my uh, night crawlers. I'm glad I caught something with it. Um, ow. I'm going to put everything back in my bucket. And I'm going to pack up and head home. I got work at 5 o'clock. Now, the one thing I wanted to show you guys before I um, stop the video was, although this is a piece of crap rod, 
this piece right here on the reel is something that I really like and I wish they would incorporate in that into better um, you know like Shakespeare rods and things like that or maybe they do and I just haven't seen any but basically you flip this piece of plastic and it flips it and you can pull the line out and I flip it back over it's just easier because you can use it one-handed you can just grab the line pull it in and then just flip that and then you're all set to cast so that's a really nice feature I thought I'd share with you guys and that concludes the video for the day um, thank you for watching make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel if you're new as I said in the beginning and uh, I'll catch you on the flip side all right guys we caught a smallmouth bass that one is pretty big um, it's a decent size smallie <coughs> um, so pretty eventful actually I caught two smallmouth um, well that's a rock bass I can't tell I can usually never tell but um there we go that's a good 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 catch for the night